Hello viewers, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to draw a finite automata for the even even language. And first of all, we need to know what is the even even language. The even even language is that language which in which all the words have even number of A's and even number of B's. For instance, uh, here we have some words from that language, like this is a word. In this word, we can count that here we have four A's and two B's. So even number of A's and even number of B's. Again, this is a word and here you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six number of A's and four number of B's. So again, it is even even language. But uh, if it, again, it's a uh, part of even even language. And But this third word, is not even even because here we have uh, one two three a's and four b's so here you can say we have odd number of a's and even number of b's so now, now uh, let's uh, draw the diagram and before drawing the diagram let's see how should we draw the diagram so first of all, uh, we need to figure out all the possible states. So here, for the given word, there may be even number of A's or and even number of B's, or it may be even number of A's and odd number of B's, or odd number of A's and even number of B's, or odd number of A's and odd number of B's. So there are four possible states. So at the as a first step, we have to figure out all the possible states and next we will see how can we have transition from one state to the other state so we will figure out who can we move how can we move from one state to the other state so keeping in mind these two points you can easily draw any finite automata so let's draw this automata for the even even language so first of all we have figured out that there are four possible states even number of A's and even number of B's. So this is a state and this is you can say also an accepting state because we will accept the word which has even number of A's and even number of B's. And it, it's also a starting state because when we do not have any number of A's and any number of B's, I mean zero number of A's and zero number of B's, it's still even because zero is also even. So it's also the starting state. The other possibility is that we have even number of A's, the first E is for A, but odd number of B's, so the O is for B's. And the third possibility may be that you have odd number of A's, but even number of B's. And the final poss and fourth possibility is that both even both A and B are odd, so odd number of is and odd number of b's. So these are the four possible states. And now let's see how can we move from one state to the other state. So first of all, let's see how can we move from this state to this state. Because uh, on the left hand side, this state has even number of a's and even number of b's. But here you have odd number of b's. So if you read an other b, then the existing B's would become odd, so you will reach. Uh, let's say you have a word like double A and double B, and right now this string is meeting this criteria of even even. But if you read an other B, then you will see that now we have odd number of B's and even number of A's, so you will move from this state to this state. But now if you want to go back to the previous state, you will have to have another B. So if you read another B, it will again become even number of B's. So now we have three B's, if we have another B, it will become, you know, again, even number of B's. Similarly, if you are here and you want to move to this state where you have odd number of A's, but even number of B's, so you will read another A. So already we have even number of A's. If I add another A, it will become three A's. That would become odd number of A's. And if you 
you want to make it even again you will have to add another a so now we will have four a's so i added another a so we again got the even number of a's and now if you want to move from this state to odd number of a's and odd number of b's here we already have odd number of b's but a's are even so if i read another a then a will also become odd and but if you want to make it even again you can read another a it will become uh, even again similarly from this state to this state if you want to make b b's uh, odd number of b's so here we have even number of b's so you read another b so we will have odd number of a's and odd number of b's and if you read another a, b we will again move back to this state where we have even number of b's so this is the finite automata for even even language so you can check any language for like just we scan this one here we have have one two three four number of a's and four number of b's so it is even even so we should finally reach at this state because we have this this, this is an even even word so let's try this let's i change the color and i start from here because this is a starting state and i did a let's let's change some color uh, make a different color just to distinguish okay i read a so from here we got here then an other a so we move back here then b so we got there then another b so we moved back here then an other b here then an other b moved back then a here then and other a here so finally uh, after reading the last letter we are on the accepting state so this word is accepted